Hi you guys. So today is the presentation of Reinas in Puerto Rico and I am filled getting out of this anxiety ride. I'm being escorted right now. I have to sit and just relax. Luckily my makeup is done. And I'll just check in with you guys later, okay? What is up you guys? So I'm here in my grandfather's truck and I am gonna document the whole entire process of Miss Global Puerto Rico. I have no clue how this journey is going to endure. Uh, but you know what? We have to go ahead and just see how the journey is. I will say my hair was just washed and um, my lips look fabulous. My teeth look on point. And I'm just really feeling my bougie self right now. My, is it what called soft luxury self right now? Um, but anyways, so I will sit here and say I've been a, almost a month. This is my third week here in Puerto Rico. And when you enter these competitions, I feel great. Like, honestly, like, I feel like I can have a lot of improvement. Sorry, y'all. Anyways, you guys are going to see the beach soon. When they say sometimes your own family don't support you, God, that is so true. Anyways, um, it's really unfortunate, but you kind of have to, like, keep going. Especially since I don't have a car to get to the other side of the island. At this time, I get my car next week. Uh... It was just hurtful. But I mean, what can you do? People are people, people are faulty. Uh, you don't hold it against people, just keep going, keep going forward. And um, I will sit here and say I'm improving. I, I've noticed that this, like, asa within, like, it's without, you know what I'm saying? And I think I manifested this because I had a feeling last year, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be here by myself and uh, certain people are not gonna help me. And those certain people today are not helping me. So I was like, wow, they are really not my, I was like, fuck, they're really not my shit, they're not my people. So that was like really sad. Um, but it is a, a most amazing, beautiful day here in Aguadilla. And I'm actually really shocked. Like these are people who wiped my butt when I was a baby, who were there with for my mother's divorce. So I'm just like, ouch. But you know, I don't want to. I don't want to lucha anymore. I want to thrive, and uh, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just gonna smile and just know that my imagination creates reality, and. I, I'm in Puerto Rico, like I, oh my God, that guy's so far out. Um, I'm in Puerto Rico and I'm very blessed. And if my imagination creates reality, then I'm gonna have the most amazing experience here with my beautiful, beautiful white teeth. And if you guys wanna know I did it, uh, go ahead and check out the video, I'll link it here. But in regard to the presentation of the reinas, it was absolutely outstanding. I will not wear those shoes. And I think one thing I learned is I will not take anyone's advice. I will just listen to my intuition. And that is it. Like, I'm just going to listen to my intuition. I had a feeling not to wear the shoes. The shoes were beautiful, though, in the photos. But in regards to walking, I was like, uh, I bought them last minute. I didn't, I was so tired because I didn't really rest from my flight in and I didn't have a chance to practice. So, yeah, that was on a spectacular event. But yeah, um, what can I say? I walked, I presented, I succeeded. Was this parking? Let's see. So Americans are really more interested in sponsoring Puerto Rican pageants with what from what I've noticed right and um I don't know 
like interesting oh you're a puerto rican you're going to the puerto rican pageants okay and um it's incredible to witness that other than that i'm very grateful i have the skills to be here i really did not have confidence in myself but now i'm here so i'm going to document the journey for you guys and yeah so this is i'm just preparing to be miss global and uh, miss global puerto rico and miss global and then um hopefully one day miss grand that miss grand puerto rico and um i would love to represent both mocha and mocadilla because my house is like literally right in the middle the government forgot to like define what part of the house it belongs to but my grandfather's from aguadilla and my mother's and my grandmother's from mocha so i would love to represent both as miss grand puerto rico and uh maybe miss world i can i can really see myself as miss world and you never know miss universe so this is the business i'm in and we just have to let go like on like my tattoo says for the control freak but here he goes so gotta go anyways so let me go ahead and take this off i'm here i'm about to introduce myself to the town the community because it's been three weeks and i haven't done that i am so grateful like i cannot like it's so different to see the american flag but now you're seeing your your patriots flag and where you you come from and then I'm just like, kind of, I've been in shock for the past two weeks, right? So much in shock, I forgot my lip liner, my lipstick. <laughs> I didn't forget my sash though. And, uh, but the presentation of Reina's was, and my flag is like literally right there. Can you guys see it? Ah! I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, the present, I was like, wow, like this is like a lot. But it was mostly friends. It was just, it was just friends and family. It wasn't really, um, in the news lots of news lots of lots of news so hi you guys okay so i had to cut out from making this video because i was already at the mayor's office and i wanted to get things in uh, i was so surprised how the they have a second mayor here in pr no one talks about that here but and they also have a mayor with the first dama which is the first lady uh great things are happening for me and um it was so interesting to see the office i didn't expect them to use be using the old um mayor house i guess it's because uh in jacksonville they don't use that house the old houses but anyways um i want to go ahead and before i clip this video and end it the art of being staying prepared if i were to gain all that weight what i had originally sorry you guys it's so hot here and gained all that weight originally and kept on eating my emotions instead of being healthy i would have not been prepared for that meeting that i had today and also i wouldn't have been prepared now that miss universe has raised the age right miss universe has raised the age and has allowed other girls to compete. Do, do that, does that mean I'm gonna go ahead and compete right now? No, because I'm with Miss Global um, and Miss Earth. So you have to go ahead and be prepared. Invest, the hardest thing is investing when you don't say anything, like in trademarks and domains and starting. But the thing is, you don't want your life to keep on being on repeat. Like I don't wanna see these, these covers next year. Uh, or six months from now. So that's what I'm trying to sit here and say. In three months, your life should be changing if you have a goal and you're striving towards it. In six months, your life should be changing uh, and you should be feeling different. And sometimes if it's not changing, you have to go ahead and switch it up. You should be switching uh, who your friends are. You should be switching up who you're associated with. There's a lot of things that you need to go ahead and look at but that's a whole video for a different day. This is a beauty channel. I'm just documenting my process. So I want to go ahead and say this. I am dead beat tired. I've been up since early morning and I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap before I get working for the rest of the day. And as always, oh, ooh, so attractive. If you guys are interested in my online programs or my makeup, 
go ahead and check out the Amazon links and also enroll inside our signature program, which is linked down below. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.